I have survived thousands of days in an infinite hardcore Minecraft world. But building cool things here is easy. I have all the blocks I could ever need. But what if you have nothing? All I have here is a chest, a tree, and a dream. Welcome to Skyblock. All we have in this chest are a lava bucket and an ice block, which we're gonna turn into a cobblestone generator. Setting up the generator is half of what we need to get started. The next step is extending this platform around the tree and making sure that we catch a sapling. As I was sorting up my inventory, a sapling just fell into my hotbar. So now we're in business. The next step is mining a lot of cobblestone and starting up a tree farm. But if I want to survive up here, I'm gonna need a plan. Step one, I don't want to starve to death, so I need lots of available food. Step two, we're going to build a house, and later on, there are many complicated challenges to unlock. And the beauty of Skyblock is that every next step of progress is always a puzzle. So if you guys have any great tips to help me out, drop them below in the comments. Okay, first off, I want some charcoal, so I'm gonna put some logs in the furnace, and then we have to do the tricky thing. I have to make my way down under the platform to save all the dirt. And yes, I'm really going to move this slowly, because if I fall down here, I lose all my progress. Okay, that worked, but I did not enjoy it. I'm literally so scared right now. I feel naked and afraid. First two days flew by, but honestly guys, early day skyblock, there's just not much to do besides breaking stone pickaxes, meditating and praying that you get more saplings. But I have some resources now, so it's time to plan ahead. I'm going to get Phantom spawning in pretty soon, who can knock me off the island and end all my hopes and dreams. So I'm just going to build a platform overhead, so my cobblestone generator is now indoors. Sort of. Oh no! Yeah, maybe don't have lava fueled machines inside your tree farm. That's a dumb idea. Let me just move the entire tree farm up on top of this platform. There is only one thing to see right now besides my island, and that's the floating sand island over that way. So I want to bridge over there, but there is one big problem. If you're not careful with it, the entire sand island can fall down, including myself. So I'll just make a bridge a little bit lower so I can build my platform under it. Okay, that should be quite low enough. Now let me use some slabs to make a gentle staircase up here. And I think that's the perfect height to bridge across. Ooh, it's already getting dark though, so I don't want to be bridging across when the phantoms come. Let me just cut some trees for now, and then I will mine through the night instead. My hunger bar is down. Maybe I can get some apples from the tree farm first. Before I go across, let me just use some of these stone bricks that I've smelted up to improve the looks of my cobblestone generator a little bit. And then I'll make some pillars in the corner here. <gasps> oh my god! I thought I messed up there. That could have been the end of the video right there. I honestly have no idea how that happened, but I'm not going to bridge across when my hands are this sweaty. I have another idea. Maybe we can make an infinite water source right now. There's a little trick for it. All I need is one bone meal. I'll just compost these extra saplings that I have. And then if we put a water bucket on top of a block, we can bone meal a block next to it. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, seagrass. I had another long night of mining and meditating, but now I'm as calm as a baby mushroom. So it's time to bridge across and get the sand. Alright, let's build a small platform, and then I'll just update the bottom block so I can pick up all the drops. Okay, that's great. Check the chest, pumpkin seeds, melon, and obsidian. I'll make the walkway two blocks wide on the way back. Um, the tree canopy is a little unhinged over there. I should probably do something about that. Let's make a cactus farm first though. That can function as a source of bone meal to get my farm started. After all, I still don't have a reliable food source, and I also don't have a house. None of my goals are met. That night, I almost got destroyed by phantoms while cutting trees, so I've come to the conclusion that I want a guardrail up here. Actually, this place looks a lot better than it did. <laughs> We're making good progress. Let me just fix this crazy monster canopy up here. This is not working great because the saplings are too close together, so I need to upgrade to a bigger farm. I'll just remove this leafy mess up here first, and then before I build the tree farm, I should probably plant these pumpkins and melon seeds to start up a proper farm. My goal of getting a steady food supply is almost within reach now. I've used some bone meal to get my first seeds, 
so I can now eat a very diet of bread, apples, melon slices, and maybe even pumpkin pie at some point. But we need chickens for that first. I also automated the cactus farm, S sort of. So it flushes all the cactus that grows towards the pathway where I can pick it up if I walk past it. Somehow, focusing on food production has made the problem worse though. I really need to build that tree farm so I have apples again. Okay, I think I've smartened up. I've spaced trees out more this time, which produces more leaves that can drop apples, but also it will hopefully prevent that monster canopy problem from happening again. I've just been working on this tree farm for the last three days, but this is totally done. It. The new and improved tree farm has fixed my hunger issues, and it has only taken me 11 days to just get up and running to the point where I don't have to worry about starving to death anymore. This is going great, totally reasonable time investment. Okay, now that a man is no longer starving to death, I can start thinking about building a house. That's what we can call it a proper start to the series. I'll just harvest up all the trees that grew overnight, and then we'll start with a frame for the house. I think the old tree farm platform is the only suitable spot we have right now, so here we go. Let me just tower up here, then I want a beam across the top, and then we need a support beam in the other direction. Okay. I quickly have to collect the apple and sapling drops from the tree farm. And now it's already late. Let's continue the house tomorrow. Alright, I'll use these stone bricks for walls because they look much better than cobblestone. Put some nice double doors in there. Put some windows over here and then I'll make a staircase going up. And a second floor of oak planks. You know what? I want to have a little bit of extra room. I'm just going to go up another full story. Let's build up here, and then we make another support beam across. Okay, I think that will be all for now. Night is starting, and I don't want to mess with the fences. Let's mine the night away. A ton of trees grew overnight, so I'm just quickly going to cut those down. And then let's continue building. I'm going to use a little bit of normal stone rather than stone bricks, just to have a tiny bit of variation here. And then we'll put windows on the side. And I think we might have to go up another story. Right, we got the staircase over there. Now let's start with the outline for the roof. Okay, I quickly gotta check what that looks like. Let me just run out here. I need to be a little bit further out. Yo, <laughs> I should have known that, Phantom. Let me run back. I don't want to be out there. Oh my god. That was so dumb. Okay, let me kill this guy. Now we just had the spawn, so I'm just gonna go out there and check. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. I'm really glad that I decided to do the extra floor in the middle. I tried to get the progress at night, but the fences were just too much. So I decided against it and continued in the morning. Right, I want to have the outside of this room be oak planks, but then in the middle I'm going to add some cobblestone. It's, I just want to have some variation, and there's not that much to choose from. Okay, I've gotten to the top part of the roof now. Let's add some stairs and slabs on the top to make a little bit of variation. The house is coming together nicely though, but I think the roof line needs a little bit of a tweak on the outside. Let me add a balcony first, that's going to do a lot, and then I should make the front facade of the build as well. And then stone bricks to fill this in. I'll use walls here to make a little bit of a depth variation. And we have this gap here, but I think I might be able to put pumpkins in there. Just to give it a little bit of color. That might just work. Okay, it's cool to have some color, but I think I need to build something in front of it, and I still have to fix that side of the roof. I'll just go around here, and then I'll add some extra stairs, trapdoors, and fences. And I need to do the same on the other side. Add a balcony going out on the first floor. Yo, that's kinda nice. From starting with nothing but this little island, to now having a bunch of farms, access to food, and a cool starter house, it's not a bad start. I think we're calling it for today. I'll see you next week when we get villagers and a mob farm. For right now, thank you guys for watching. Looney, 